Jacks. Oh, why? Oh. I'ma do all of my pills. I'ma do all of my pills. I'ma do all of my pills. I wanna know how I feel. Hold up. Oh, why? I got some stuff on my face. Hold up. Oh, I think it's barbecue. I got some jokes with my friends. I got some jokes with my friends. I think they know how to smoke. But I'm about to show them again. You can do all of my drugs. You can do all of my drugs. Once you have some of my pills, you gonna be falling in love. Oh, why? Put some weed in the bowl. Oh, What's up, y'all? And welcome to another episode of the Brent Taylor Show. Show, show, show. Got some special guests. Two today, yo. Uh, actually, one, like one and a half. Okay, I got a special, special guest, Elijah Carroll, special young comedian. Let them know uh, where you from, brother. Love. I'm from LA, LA, California. You heard that that LA just came out of him real quick. He, <laughs> he young. He ain't supposed to voice deep though. Came out deep, in my LA, <laughs> LA, California. He about to tell you and said if I didn't stop him real quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Notice I said one and a half. Special guest, okay. This other brother, y'all seen him before, man. It's my partner. Give it up for Reggie Carroll, man. What's up, baby boy? What's up, everybody? It's my, up. my son here. Be more in the house, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Baltimore, yeah, Baltimore, man. Yeah, it's Father's Day, y'all. It's uh, Father's yeah, Day, y'all. It's Father's Day, day man. Yeah. Got a special yeah. Father's Day edition yeah. here. Um, shout out to all the fathers around the world, y'all. Um, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. So I, I had to bring the youngster, man. Um, I, I'm I'm privileged to have you here, brother. Um, he's a comedian as well. He's not just any youngster. We can just get a nigga's kids and bring him on the show, y'all. Um, I got a, a a comedian, young comedian, man. Um, tell me how old you are right now, bro. I'm 15 right now. Okay. Do you speak with that deep voice on on stage? <laughs> Do you? Okay. Oh, what's yeah. up, y'all? Y'all ready for some comedy? Y'all ready for some jokes and shit? Right. Do you curse on stage? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Either. He said it with pride too. You saw that? Uh, yeah. Okay. How, how long you been doing it? Doing? I've been doing about a year. Okay. okay. Oh, two years. You was thirteen. Two years. Uh, yeah, I'm fifteen now. She's two got, years got now. Daddy here next to her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Did you teach him how to do uh, comedy, or did he like? How did comedy come up, come about with 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 the youngster? Here? Um, I thought he was um. Like he was doing a report or a school, I thought it was or writing a rap. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to reading it, it was it was it was jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this what you wanna do for real? And he was like, Yeah, yeah, well, I want these to stand up. So I was like, Well, all right, then I said, Well, you know, I take this shit seriously. I think it fits I got like, You think this is what I do, you can do this shit too. Yeah. So boom, I went on and um I just showed them like joke structure. Uh -huh. And I just showed them like how I do things and how I go about it. And then like um and I just was telling like about his life, we're gonna write about the things like how I do because he be like playing sports, like how you saying like Sometimes people get nervous in front of their their, their parents, mm -hmm. and like I would hear, like even because first he was playing sports, so I just hear like Elijah nice, he do all this shit, and then I was like, well shit, I was nice, and I was, you know how we get whatever kid when I was your age, I was doing this, so then I like come to the game, and it had just like freeze them that time. I'm like, God damn, it. you can just hear me in the audience, so I get mad and go sit with the other team and cheer for. Would you, <laughs> was you that parent that cuss them out? Would you be cussing at the game too? I'm embarrassed. I'm like, oh, get a ride with your friends. He already did nothing. He didn't get no ride home. My brother's like that. My brother be cussing at his, at, you know what I'm saying? And his 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 daughter his daughter plays basketball. She's good, but he be cussing so hard. He get to. He gets so mad at her, he gets to screaming for the other team. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 yeah. Matter of fact, that's a good shot. Good <laughs> shot, Kimberly. Good <laughs> shot, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. that? You see that? I'm like, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm staying for the other games, yo. You, you can bounce. We all going to eat some cookies, <laughs> ice cream, as a loser shit, and get shit to eat. So where was the first place that you took him to to do comedy? Where was... Or what was the first um, place you went? Did it was Ha Ha's, right? Yeah, it yeah, was the Ha Ha's. Oh, you did Ha Ha's comedy. Yeah, we went to that. You know what? And this is something that was um funny, like you know Jack from Ha Ha's and Jack Jr. His son do comedy. Ha Ha is mm -hmm. in uh North <laughs> Hollywood, y'all. It's a uh, it's the comedy club, and shout out to Jack, man. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Comedy Jack, club that's in, my uh, man, man. I was one of the first comedians in there. So like um like like Jack's son, I remember when Jack Jr. was little. And we would sit over there talking, and he was like, like calm of cool to me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, you should put him on stage, man. You can raise up a comedian. So one day when um 
me just showing him like, you know, my, the Jack got my picture up there. We real good friends. He owns his club. So when I brought him in there, Jack did me the same way. Put him on stage, Reggie. This is, this is home too. So let him go. So I was like, yo, he ready? Cause he, so then we went and Jack was like, we go and film. So then every day we just start going to the ha ha's. What's up? It's your boy Brent Taylor, um, Dr. Brent Taylor right now for sex education. Um, a lot of y'all need some education on, on the sex game right now. Um, so I'm going to give you some tips right now. Um, it's a pandemic, okay? A national, uh, international, worldwide, global actually pandemic. It's an outbreak, okay? So we need to protect ourselves. Not only just walking around uh, sexually, more than ever, okay? You don't want to get nothing crazy, and you don't want to get nobody nothing crazy, okay? So, quick little tip um, to get you right during this pandemic. Um, also, it's a, it's a double because a lot of people don't have their health healthcare up, up to speed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have uh, um, the shields. The, the blue shield, green, red, yellow, none of that. The cross, none of that. Obamacare, none of that. They just out here just raw, just reckless in these streets, just out in the jungle, just grabbing shit, taking it home with you, wrestling with it, getting naked with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little trick slash tip for the players out there, fellas. Um, a lot of y'all know this already too, but I'm going to share it with upcoming generation. Um, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have your medical game in order, what you can do, the girl you sleeping with, pay attention when she go to the doctor. Because basically when she goes to the doctor, that's like you going to the doctor too. You know what I'm saying? Her checkup is your checkup. Whatever she don't got, you ain't got it either now. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you ain't got to go... It could be years before you go to the doctor, before you get a checkup. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you check up on the girl that you're sleeping with. You know what I'm saying? Because they go get a checkup. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? Ladies be having jobs, having plans, and they'll go. They be worried. They be nervous, stressing, paranoid. But when they get that, get that news, you be attentive. That's the time to listen. Because whatever... She she got now. Guess what? Feel me? You got that too now. So, um, it could go both ways. Don't be going to the doctor's office with her, sitting there, sitting in the waiting room, looking but looking like you burning. You know what I'm saying? Then doctor come out, give her that news. Then he look at you like, stay at home, Facetime. That's now's the time to Facetime. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what? What happened? What? He said, what? Go through the line. What What about this, though? You know what I'm saying? Because they got all kind of, they got diseases, that, like, with funny, with nicknames. The clap. The drip. The, the monster. You don't want none of them. You feel what I'm saying? So when she get checked, that's your checkup. You feel what I'm saying? That's all.